Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about how I cleared my PL 300 exam recently. And passing this exam gives you the title of Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate. And believe me, as long as the title is, I'll keep the video as short as possible to guide you with all the tips and tricks you require to pass this exam. So let's get started right away. So question arises, why should you take this exam? First and foremost, why does anyone do a certification? To enhance their professional development or to have some sort of professional development. Earning a certification can enhance your professional development and can improve your job prospects. If you are looking to advance your career or you are trying to take on new projects. Second point, if you have keen interest in data analytics and you want to get certified in it, but I would say not only data analysts, but managers and even other professionals can take up this course as an additional skill. And lastly, validation of skills. Passing the PL300 exam demonstrates that you have the correct skills and knowledge to use the power platforms effectively including creating custom solutions and integrations. Now let me tell you about the exam format. You will get around 1 hour 40 minutes to 2 hours of time to complete this exam. Number of questions asked would be around 50. It could be a little more than that also. Now you will be getting questions in the format of MCQs, then fill in the blanks or true and false. Now let me tell you all these questions will revolve around three to four topics which is data preparation data modeling visualization and analyzation and then deploying of these assets the pricing for this certification is approximately around 4800 inr to 5000 inr now you might able to get a discount on your office id if your office has collaborated with microsoft now let's come on to the very important part of this video, tips and tricks on how to pass this exam. So first of all, I want you to acquire some basic knowledge on concepts of Power BI. For example, what all charts are we including? What all steps do we need to follow to make relationships in the data? And how do we model and transform that data? So once you are done with acquiring some basic knowledge on Power BI, I want you to check out these two websites exam topics and pass an exam now these two websites have questions which are most likely to come in the certification and if you go through and through these questions i guarantee you you can pass it in no matter of time one pro tip i would like to give you here is that please please go through the discussions page for each and every question because there might be a possibility that some of the suggested answers could be wrong. Now I think all of this information is sufficient for you to pass your PL300 exam. I want you to comment down your doubts below and send me any of the questions that you have, either it's Power BI related or exam related and I'll try to answer each and every one of you. So thank you, this is me Nishitharna signing off.